The city of St. Augustine wants to make sure that its vision for the future matches what residents want in the city. Tonight, uh, the city hosted its second of six workshops for what it's calling its vision plan. It was originally created in 2014, and so now 10 years later, the city is checking in with residents to see what's been accomplished and what needs to be added. News for Jack supporter Ariel Schiller spoke with some of those people tonight. People packed the St. Augustine Yacht Club tonight to share their thoughts on the city of St. Augustine's vision plan from 2014. They also shared their thoughts on what the vision should look like going forward. I spoke with Amy Skinner, planning and building director for the city of St. Augustine. She says one of the main accomplishments of the vision plan is that they moved forward with their mobility plan by hiring a mobility coordinator. They've done this by creating safer forms of transportation for pedestrians and cyclists. We're seeing a lot of scooters, electric bikes, and you know other uh, uh, other forms of transportation. And so we don't want to be so oriented toward just um, vehicles. We want we'd like vehicles to kind of get parked, stay parked, and park once so people can walk around and enjoy the city. Ainsley Bates has lived in St. Augustine for four years. She attended the Vision Plan workshop with the hopes of asking city leaders to consider highlighting the arts and music scene as part of the vision plan. I think it brings a lot um, representing the tradition. So I think it's cool that we have this opportunity to meet. Um, and I want to bring more of that aspect, I think, into it and really get more people involved so that the vision of St. Augustine really is accomplished by the whole St. Augustine, not just uh, certain people, you know. Is there anything going towards the future that you think needs to be added to the plan or um, like what, what, what are you thinking is going to look different or um, do you think it's going to look the same? Well, as, as staff, and certainly we're here to listen to the people, but one thing I think we've um, experienced are the, some of the hurricanes since 2014, you know, when we had Matthew come through, Irma come through, and then several other storms since then. We're talking about uh, resiliency and sustainability and things like that that maybe we, we, un, we mentioned in 2014, but we didn't understand the extent of, of how vulnerable we were or, you know, with those types of storms. Bates is hoping the vision plan will continue to focus on mobility. We have a really cool scene developing in West King, always a cool scene downtown, and then I think the island is really pulling together to try to make it a cool scene. Uh, so it'd be great to be able to get people from one place to another to really experience all the cool sides of St. Augustine and Uptown too. Uptown is cool. There are four more vision plan workshops for people to share their thoughts with city leaders. The next one happens on October 2nd at 6 p.m. and it'll be hosted at the Gallimore Center. Reporting in St. Augustine, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, the local station. You can find more information on the vision plan update on the city of St. Augustine's website. We've got a link to that on our website, newsforjax.com.